Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, we're going to show you how to build a rain catch. So let's take a look at it now. Okay guys, now to begin with, we have already got our wood frame together, um, and the reason that we done this ahead of time and didn't really film this portion is because you might want your frame higher or lower, but what it really ends up being is, we'll show you here real quick, is you've got your 2x4 mounts, or I use like a 4x4 and then ran a two by four cross and just made a simple H frame uh, height. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to Scott right here and let him show you how we're gonna mount these barrels up. We cut the tops off the bottom of the barrel uh, because we've inverted it now where the, the drain spout will come out down at the bottom of one of the uh, tightener plugs. So right there as you can see we have a two inch piece coming out to an inch and a half and then we have an inch and a half bushing coming down to a one inch and there's where the original plug used to be. So we're going to put both of those up there now okay. and screw those into place on the frame and then we'll get underneath this here in just a second and show you how to dry fit the PVC pipe and then we'll mount it permanent. So now here we are attaching our barrels after we have placed them up on our frame. Just run the screw in, just make sure you don't pierce the barrel so you'll have leaks later on. As one last safety precaution, we're taking this little metal banding and wrap it around it. We start it over here, now we're going to take it wrap it all the way around, come back over here, we're going to attach it to this 2x4 with a wood screw. There we go. And we're going to trim the excess off. There we go. Now our water barrels are safely secured. Okay, now that we're under the barrels, the one next to the house, we've come off with just a piece of PVC pipe. All this is, you know, it's just barely mounted for the moment to uh, give an idea of how that it needs to be ran. Now you want to size your pipe to where that as you come down like we've built our H frame here and the brace support is we're going to be able to take a metal banding and put around that to hold that good in place so it doesn't uh, work loose over time and get cracked. Now you come out here to your one inch T so you get, let's go back and recap you come down from a two inch piece out of your barrel to a one and a half inch bushing and from that one and a half inch bushing to your one inch pipe then we're going to go from a one inch elbow out one inch pipe to a one inch T and from your T you're going to go back up to the same type bushing set as you had in the first barrel so that way we've joined two barrels together okay now we're going to come across from this to a one inch bushing to the fittings that would be necessary for a filtration device such as this one that I'm recycling off of a house um, that was took out. I'm going to use this now to get any algae or nasties out of the water before it goes in to my hydroponics. So I believe this is one inch to a three quarter uh, bushing is what I have in this at the moment. Now depending on what filtration uh, equipment you use you'll have to adjust that bushing out. And now for this last piece I'm going to cut a piece of one inch pipe and come out from this right here with my valve just a little ways out and we're going to attach that tight so that this whole mount is supported very neatly underneath this and we'll also stiffen it up right there in this center section so all this will have good bracing now while Scott's finishing gluing in the fittings and the plumbing parts at the bottom I'm going to go up here at the top and take a Dremel tool and Dremel out the rest of a fixture hole right here for a drain because what will happen is the mount that we're going to fix up here in a minute for the drain to come down into this first barrel off the roof it's going to go under and start filling back into this barrel now we don't want it to overflow so what it'll do is instead of overflowing over it it's going to flow through this hole right here through this tube out the side of this barrel down into the yard and on down the ditch line drain that needs to go so I'll put that in and we'll show you how that looks okay now we can see that we've got that glued in place and I put plenty of extra to make sure that it's sealed good and now that will pour off and continue 
uh, the water drain as it should appropriately with our ditch line nest. So you need to make sure that your extra barrel or your one barrel, if you only go with the one barrel setup, that it has plenty of drainage. Now, here it is on the inside, sealed up good too. So now we're ready to start on the drain from the roof and getting that into this barrel here. Okay guys, now at this point, we're gonna take a Dremel tool or either some kind of cutoff wheel. We're gonna, I'm gonna finish trimming this out right here on my cutter. Now, what we'll do is we'll take our gutter and the downspout, we'll screw that with some metal screws and that'll take this down into that. So we'll do that now after I finish this up. We're now we're gonna take this piece of recycling guttering that we had laying around, cut this nasty end off, then we're gonna cut it down to two foot. We're gonna use a four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel, but you can use any metal cutting tool that you have. Okay, now at this point, I'm taking small sheet metal screws and affixing this gutter downspout into the barrel area about a foot, about a half a foot down. That way the water will go in good and not splash out into the area around us. And now we're going to put one more on this side and then move to the other. Now that we have attached the rain spout, downspout off the gutter, now we this project is finally finished. Okay, now that we have finished our rain catch, now just, it's important to remember you need to keep an eye on your water filters for your live, if you're using it for your livestock, your aquaponics, and any other source, or if you're using it for drinking water, just keep an eye on your filters and it should be okay. And this may potentially save your life one day. Having a backup water source that you could boil or purify, I mean, this is an opportunity for you to have plenty of water whenever the utilities are not there no more. And like Scott said, you can also use it for your hydroponics, your livestock. There's many different sources for this. So it's a great thing to have around. Uh, you can build it for very little money invested in it, and it will pay off big time down the road. So we hope you've enjoyed this build with us. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.